Yo, YouTube, it's your boy Caleb Harrison back in the building. Second video of today, and I'm about to react to this NBA on TNT crew might leave and be canceled. It's a lot of stuff going on, all right? It's a lot of stuff about, you know, the in, in, you know the TNT crew that has Kenny, Ernie, Shaq, uh, what's called, uh, and Charles Barkley. Um, that is my childhood growing up, watching them guys talk after TNT games, LeBron versus Curry and all these other things. That's my childhood. Now I hear that they might break up. Not because they have beef or nothing like that. They love each other. It's because they said that the, the the company or somebody selling their rights to ESPN or something like that. I don't I don't know, but yeah, and there's a lot of stuff going on. So let me hear what uh, what's called this guy that says like Dan Patrick show says to Charles Barkley and go from there. You know what I'm saying? Charles, well, two things, Dan. Number one, Mercedes is a great car. Okay. What is what what? what? But don't buy it if you can't afford it. Let's get that out the way. What? All right. Wait a minute. Mercedes is an amazing car. I've had a few in my life. Okay. Mer no bad unless you can afford people I work with. They screwed this thing up clearly. Wait, wait. wait. And uh, I just really big I work with Dan. You know, you know these people have families, and uh, I just really feel bad for them right now. You know, these people I work with, they screwed this thing up clearly. And uh, we don't have zero idea what's going to happen. I don't feel good, I'm not going to lie, especially when they came out yesterday and said we bought college football. College like, football. Well, damn, they could have used that money to buy the NBA. Yeah, but it, it says that TNT Sports added college football playoff games in a five-year deal. Oh, so the TNT added college football to TNT. So we're just not going to have, you know, basketball. We're going to have college football TNT on TNT, bro. That doesn't even sound right, bro. College football just sounds like it should be on ESPN, but on TNT. To be honest, TNT, NBA just all over TNT and see TNT go somewhere else, bro. I don't know, bro. I mean, ah. A licensing deal with ESPN. Maybe that's why they're buying this because they don't, you know, the money they were going to use on the NBA, they got to do something with. Yeah, that's what, that's the first thing came to my mind. We've never had college football. It never been involved with college football. It is thundering outside. Wait a minute. Shouldn't we be spending every dime we got to keep the NBA? So morale sucks, to be honest with you, Dan. Morale. I was wondering about this. I don't know if you guys have talked about this, but you and Shaq and Kenny and Ernie, how about just form a production company? That's what I was saying, bro. This right here, the production company, forget everybody else. Forget the freaking people trying to sell. Get the, all the people that work with TNT, NBA on TNT, and the people that are behind it, get all the production stuff. Get them, get Kenny, Charles, you know, Ernie, you know, and Shaq all together and make a production company. Make their own thing. Like, so many people have done that. Like, bro, just, like, because if they split up, bro, they, some, like, that don't make no sense. The, the best talking, this is way better than ESPN, bro. I'm, it's, it's, man, comparing them to Stephen A and them, Malika Andrews, all them talking on ESPN, Bro, nah, bro. I take NBA on TNT any day, day, any day bro. Because, I mean, nothing not like Mike Breen. Mike Breen is a great broadcast commentator. I'm talking about people that talk during halftime, before the game, after the game. This crew right here just literally owns the NBA and what they do. And they got to do something, bro. Because I can't see them split up, bro. They got to go somewhere, make something to for them to, you know, be safe. And, you know, you talk about, like... I mean, just like sell it to something like HBO Max or Amazon or something. Like, come on, I man. Don't, no, 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 no. Please don't split up, bro, because I thought this was just a rumor. Continue to shoot, continue to do the inside the NBA, hire the personnel, keep the personnel there, continue to do it in Atlanta. And then it's in Atlanta? Able to sell that to NBC or Amazon and say, here, NBC? you already got the Amazon. studio show ready to go, keep everybody in place. But you guys own your own production company. Well, I've talked to the guys about everybody signing with my production company because I have my own production company, and uh, I want to. I I would love to do that if if we lose it. But I have definitely had actually somebody suggested that to me to be honest with you on the internet. So why don't Charles Barkley sign these three guys, four guys total, this his production company and sell it? I'm like, that's a great idea. Yeah. Golly. Like I say, you know, we're just sitting back waiting on these people 
to figure out what they're gonna do. You know, you know, my two favorite wines are Ingle Nook. What Lewis. Charles? Whatever. But bro, yeah, they, they, they don't need to split up, bro. Charles Broccoli and them. Like, come on, like, he said, they don't, they, they don't, they haven't made the decision yet. They're taking a little bit, way too long for the decision. And, like, dude, some people, sometimes they just be forcing stuff. Like, let, leave it alone. People just so freaking love mammon. If you don't know what mammon is, look, 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 well, read the Bible, but it's the love of money, continue the love of money. Like, these guys, TNT and everything already has a whole bunch of money. But nah, they want to continue to get money and everything just to expand their stuff and everything. Like, bro, like, you already are going crazy on You got you got a crew on here. You're going to lose the crew because you're trying to get so much money? Get out of here, bro. Like, golly. you like, this made no sense. Like, bro, you trying to do all this stuff. Doing all this stuff just to just just to get some money, bro. They know they're putting their, this in jeopardy, bro. They're going to lose their crew because they want so much money. But go ahead. Go ahead. They already got they already got the plans. They are you know, they're going to go somewhere else. You know, they're going to try to split them up. They're going to go somewhere else. Charles already said they have a production. He has a production company. I mean, even that doesn't go well. He could go somewhere else. They can, bro. All I'm saying is this crew is not going to split up. They can't split up. They're too good together. Um, you know, they, no matter what people are going to say about it, I mean, I, saw, I heard the rumors, but I didn't know if it was real or not, but I guess it was real. But, um, yeah, I mean, just, I don't, let me hear what else you got to say about it. And these clowns I work for, they turned us into Ripple and Boomstorm and Thunderbird. <laughs> so, he, it's obviously that he doesn't like the people that he works for, the people that are in high command, that have to sell the stuff. They just want money. So, um, Charles Bradley looks like he just doesn't like them, I guess, and everything. He wants to stay with them. They all want to stay there, but, you know, they just, it's about time, you know, someone is trying to get some money and everything. I don't know, but I had to address this. It's not a really long video. It's just a short little video I have to make because, um, this stuff is going, this is my childhood crew, and I can't see them leaving NBA on TNT. It's just like NBA on TNT, Shaq, a Shaq, Shaq, Charles, Kenny, Ernie, that's all for you. Yeah, these are all four of them. Like, I can't, I can't. But, um, that is it for this video. If you're new to this channel, I'm Caleb Harris's NSH Network. I react to NBA games, highlights, and news like this. All types of sports and everything. The grind does not stop for me. And, uh, until next time, stay blessed, stay humble, stay safe, stay aware. It's your boy, Caleb Harris, NSH Network. And I'm out of the building.